This video is supported by Curiosity Stream. 2020 is destined to be a critical year for SpaceX for three of its most important business segments, Starship, Starlink, and Crew Dragon, all of them are reaching critical milestones. Starship is iterating rapidly to prepare for orbital flight. Starlink is a few steps away from commercial trials and Crew Dragon is ready for launch in just a week time. It is hard to accurately quantify the commercial value for them, but for those who follow the space industry closely, you know how much excitement SpaceX has brought to an otherwise stagnant industry. Let's talk about these businesses one by one. Starship is the most exciting segment of SpaceX business with endless possibilities. It is iterating rapidly to test different vehicles to make sure its design is robust. It is also the most ambitious rocket under construction. Its capability rivals that of Saturn V and it is designed for Mars missions and beyond. Before as and codenamed test vehicles, SpaceX has already completed three hop tests with Starhopper completing a maximum hover altitude of 150 meters. But this whole process is accelerated, starting with SN1 in October last year. SpaceX has designed and assembled six SN test vehicles, two under construction and four completed. SN stands for serial number and Elon expressed that there will be many SN test vehicles before building an actual Starship, rapidly iterating test vehicles to get to the final Starship as soon as possible. SN1 was destroyed during pressure test due to a structural issue on 28th February. SN2 was retired after testing its welding quality. SN3 was destroyed due to a test configuration error, a significant improvement over the previous versions. And finally, SN4 made important progress completing static fire test and cryogenic pressure test. As of mid-May, SN4 has planned to make a short hop test flight once the regulator's suborbital launch license is received. SN5 and 6 under construction will bring Starship's vision even further. However, by far the most important piece of news regarding Starship is NASA's $335 million investment. This funding is to support Starship's development to become a lunar lander. This is the first time NASA confirms its support for Starship. Previously, NASA announced its support for SpaceX to do cargo transportation to the moon, but Falcon Heavy was supposed to be the principal vehicle for cargo transportation. Now that NASA has committed funding to Starship's development and put a 10-month timeline on it, it brought commercial incentives and a sense of urgency for SpaceX to build Starships fast. Many important milestones will be passed this year. Now let's move on to Starlink. I've always believed that Starlink is the most promising branch of SpaceX businesses commercially. It is a satellite constellation being constructed by SpaceX to provide satellite internet access. It has two significant advantages over its competitors. One, it plans to send over 40,000 satellites low Earth orbit. Low orbits and higher number of satellites significantly improves internet quality. And two, SpaceX is a virtual monopoly in this market. Without the SpaceX Falcon 9 reusable rocket, this business is not commercially viable because of the high launch cost. That's why I covered Starlink a lot more than Starship so far. However much we love SpaceX effort with Starship, it still has technology gaps to fill and its outcome is not certain. But when it comes to Starlink, it is commercial, its business basics are sound, and it's most likely to produce results in the coming years. Unlike Starship, SpaceX already has all technologies needed for Starlink business. More importantly, no other company can do the same at such a low cost. With seven Starlink launches so far, SpaceX has sent 422 satellites to the low Earth orbit. In the second half of 2020, SpaceX is scheduled to send six more Starlink launches pushing the total satellite number to around 700. This will be enough for North American market, which is one of the most lucrative markets in the world, followed by the European Union, China, and Japan. With only 5% of the world's population, North America takes a quarter of the world's internet revenue. Ride-sharing flights with Starlink will also bring SpaceX a significant revenue boost. One of the troubles facing Starlink is its visibility in night sky. To counter that, SpaceX will also be sending Starlink satellites with sunshades to lower their visibility. They're called Visorsat, and the first batch will be sent in June. Finally, 2020 is the year when SpaceX acquires human spaceflight capability. It has been years in the making. SpaceX was awarded $2.6 billion in 2014 together with Boeing to provide crew transportation to the International Space Station. 
but unlike prior NASA contractors where construction contracts with commercial firms led to direct NASA operation of the spacecraft, NASA made an exception for SpaceX. It is purchasing space transport services from SpaceX, including construction, launch, and operation of Crew Dragon. This means SpaceX will have the operational capability for future manned missions. This is a capability only three countries have acquired so far, the United States, Russia, and China. With the help of NASA, SpaceX is poised to perform its final human spaceflight test on the 27th May, and this could unlock many business opportunities for SpaceX. How is Starship going to send humans to the moon and Mars? How is Yusaku Maezawa going to orbit the moon in 2022? Better technology and experience operating Crew Dragon is the key to these questions, and SpaceX will officially have these tech capability by the end of this month. Additionally, Crew Dragon's docking technology is also very important for future missions to the moon. It is important to refuel Starship in the low Earth orbit before it could reach the moon independently. Strategically, Crew Dragon's success is the final hurdle for SpaceX dominance in the industry. Upon completion, SpaceX would have acquired most, if not all, tech capabilities of the space industry for any missions lying ahead. From deep space exploration missions to manned missions to the moon, from setting up a permanent base on the moon to potentially doing the same on Mars, SpaceX has proved its incredible competence time and time again, and crossing the important milestones for all three business segments, Starship, Starlink, and Crew Dragon is a great beginning. This section is supported by Curiosity Stream, a subscription streaming service that offers thousands of award-winning documentaries. Space is the final frontier with endless possibilities for us to explore. If you love space, check out Curiosity Stream for it has the most complete catalog of space documentaries. There's one specific documentary I'd like to recommend to you, A World Without NASA. It goes in-depth into various technologies that would not have existed without NASA, from the worldwide financial network to tracking endangered species and the food you eat, NASA's shaping of our modern lives is so extreme, it's impossible to imagine life without it. Go to curiositystream.com slash Curious Elephant to get a full year of access for just $19.99. CuriosityStream is also offering audience a one month free trial as long as you sign up through the link down below with the code Curious Elephant, so be sure to do that today. Another great news for our audience is that the annual subscription of Curiosity Stream comes with Nabula, a streaming video platform built by and for independent creators like Polymatter, Minute Physics, Wendover, and myself. If you'd like to support independent creators and get access to exclusive ad free content, sign up for Curiosity Stream in the link down below with the code Curious Elephant. Once again, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.